on this Monday morning. Uh, Pastor Larry Allison here, uh, Gospel Light Free Will Baptist Church, Bonterre. And uh, sure good to have you with us this morning for our Daily with God uh, devotion. <clears throat> you that are reading the Bible through, uh, your scripture for today is the book of Psalms, chapter 4, 5, and 6. Uh, and by the way, be turning to Psalms 4. That's where we're going uh, this morning. And also the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 16 through 34. I'll tell you what, had a great day at God's house yesterday. Uh, I love Sundays at Gospel Light. Uh, it was a great day. Uh, but listen, we're uh, looking in our devotion this morning. Uh, the entitled is Have a Good Night's Sleep. Okay? Have a good night. Let me get this thing and make sure it's working right. I think it is. Uh, have a good night's sleep. That is the title of our devotion. We're going to be looking at the book of Psalms, chapter 4. Uh, we're living in a day where uh, everyone's all stressed out. Uh, we're living in a day when uh, a lot of folks, uh, you know, have a hard time sleeping. Some people have a hard time resting. Uh, just so much going on in their lives, so much sometimes in their mind, uh, and just hard to get rest. Uh, listen, Psalms chapter 4, I believe, says, you know what? You can have a good night's rest. Look with me, if you would, this morning. The book of Psalms chapter 4, and I'm going to begin in verse 3, 3 uh, through 8, and, and really, <clears throat> there's a few other things that kind of stand out to us uh, in this scripture. First of all, the psalmist begins by saying this, in verse 3, but know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Tell you what, we that are Christians, I believe God has set us apart from the world. Why? For us to serve him, honor him, uh, love him, uh, serve him to the best uh, of our abilities with much prayer uh, we're to serve the Lord, and God has set us apart. Uh, you know what? Sanctified, set us apart. Uh, what? For the godly. Notice, <clears throat> set apart him that is godly for himself. Hey, we're for the Lord, right? Uh, we're here to please him. We're here to serve him. We're here to honor him. And if we're in a right relationship, that kind of a relationship, and I like that relationship, uh, to know that we've been set apart for the work of God. Here's what's, here's what's available for us. He said, the Lord will hear when I call unto him. Hey, when I'm in right standing with God, God's hearing and answering my prayers. When I'm in right relationship with the Lord, I'm in, I'm in a right relationship with my prayer life with the Lord, and he's answering uh, my prayers. He went on to say in verse four, stand in awe and sin not. When we recognize who God is and who we are and how much God hates sin, we've been, we that are righteous, we that are godly, we've been set apart for God. So I tell you what, our relationship to sin ought to cease. Uh, we ought to leave our sins. We ought to forsake our sins. He said, stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. <clears throat> you know, when you're in the busyness of the world, you're around people, you got your TV on, you got all this busyness and sound around you. Uh, sometimes I think th that we've learned just to kind of uh, block out everything else and not really be too concerned about listening to God at all. Do you know what? Here in the quiet of your bed, the TVs are off. The crowd is gone. It's just you and the Lord lying there. And you know what he said? <clears throat> Stand in all, sin not. Hey, commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Hey, be still and know that he is God. Be still and know that there you lay in the presence of Almighty God, and it's there in that quiet time we can really draw nigh to the Lord. He said, offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. You want to give the Lord a sacrifice? Hey, that's not always in dollars and cents. Romans 12 verse 1 says, 
I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, present your your body, present yourself as the living sacrifice. Hey, you be the sacrifice. Put yourself on the altar for God. And he said, put your trust in the Lord. Hey, if I want to have a good night's sleep, I'm not going to go to bed trusting man or trusting in things. I'm going to go to bed trusting in the Lord. Amen? Hey, my trust is going to be in the Lord. He said, there be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Notice these next two verses. I like this. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increaseth. Hey, you know what? Who puts gladness in your heart? Why, it's the Lord. It's the Lord I'm trusting in. It's the Lord who I'm serving. It's the Lord who I'm praying to. It's the Lord that's answering my prayers. It's the Lord I'm laying on my bed and I'm being still in his presence. It's the Lord uh, that I'm drawing nigh to. And here in this verse, it says, thou hast put gladness. It's the Lord that's put gladness in your heart. Oh, God can make you glad. Hey, this old world can make you sad, but God can make you glad. But then we get to verse 8, and this is the verse I think that really tells us uh, how we can have a good night's sleep. Really, all these working together uh, ought to bring us to that place of good rest in the Lord. Verse 8, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Why would you want to go to bed worrying about this and worrying about that when you're in the Lord's hands? Why would you want to go to bed so concerned about something you can't get it off your mind? And when you got when you can't get something out of your mind, there, there's no way you can rest. There's no way you can sleep well. It's just there. Why would I go to bed with something so controlling my thinking in my mind when I know that, you know what? My rest is in the Lord. He said, I will both lay me down. First of all, he said, in peace. When I get ready to go to bed at night, I'm going to be at peace with God. Now, if you've still got unconfessed sin going on in your life, there'll be no peace until you uh, get repentance uh, and ask forgiveness of those sins. If you want to go to bed for a good night's sleep, you better go to bed with a clean heart and a right spirit about you. Okay? He <clears throat> said, I will lay me down in peace. And if you lay yourself down in peace, in the presence of God, you're in his care, you're in his hands. In fact, he finishes out that verse and says, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. God is your safety. He's your peace. He's your safety. And you know what that verse, let's put the whole verse together now. I will both lay me down in peace, and it's then and only then that I can sleep <laughs> and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Man, I tell you what, who wouldn't want a good night's sleep? They say you need eight hours sleep. Uh, and you know what? And I, I guess eight hours sleep would be good for anybody. You know, some folks seem to take more sleep than that. Some folks get by on far, far less uh, than eight hours sleep. Uh, there's still... But back back uh, many years ago when I worked at Chrysler, man, I, I think through the week, I was probably uh, four and five hours sleep a night uh, on a good night. And by the time the weekend got here, you just wiped out tired, you know, catch up a little bit. Uh, but but even still, there there's times uh, I can I can go to bed kind of late. I can wake up kind of early. And uh, once I wake up, there's no need just to lay there. Just because I'm I'm shooting for eight hours sleep, <clears throat> you know, I go to bed uh, pretty late on one occasion, and, and I wake up at five five thirty in the morning, and I'm awake. Hey, time to get up, make some coffee, and time to get with my Bible and get in prayer, get with God. Uh, 
don't want to lay in bed wasting time. Now, on the other hand, if you really need that extra sleep, man, go for it. I'm just trying to make a point. Everybody's different. Somebody's body may require more rest than someone else's. But the truth is, the real value of good rest at night will not be probably how many hours you spend in bed. It'll more than likely be your relationship to the Lord. It'll more than likely be, have you really trusted him and are you relying on him? And I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Hey, praise the Lord, there's safety in the loving care of our Lord Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day. Hey, get you some good sleep tonight. <laughs> that would be in good encouragement. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. Here's your scripture for tomorrow. Psalm 7, 8, and 9 in the book of Acts, chapter 18. Hey, have prayer with me. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And Lord, just love the Psalms and the way they bless us and speak to us and strengthen us. They help us. And Lord, even today we saw a good lesson how to go to bed and get some good sleep. Lord, we love you. We trust you. Uh, we are in your care. And Lord, only in you is there peace and safety. Meet the need of those watching, we ask right now, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Hope to see you in the morning, Lord willing.